It's been an active year for severe weather in parts of Kettle Land. Meteorologist Scott Munt looks at some of the numbers. While eastern South Dakota enjoyed plenty of sunshine today, western South Dakota kept an eye to the sky in case of severe weather. This is a time lapse of a severe storm earlier this year in Rapid City. While the moisture has been good for western South Dakota, the severe weather is something they can do without. But they've had plenty of severe storms in the west this year. This graphic from the Iowa Environmental Mesonet shows the amount of thunderstorm warnings issued per National Weather Service office. Aside from the high numbers of over 300 warnings issued from western Kansas to Arkansas, the next highest is in western South Dakota, which is just shy of 300 warnings. This is well above last year's number of 105 through the same time period for the Rapid City office. The connection to monsoon moisture in western South Dakota is the easy answer for the high number of warnings in western Kettle Land, as more moisture has been available this year. For Kettle Land Weather, I'm meteorologist Scott Munt.